Hi dear students, let's see the quiz on digestive system anatomy. Let's identify the parts of the digestive system. Select any part of the stomach. Here is the question. And here this is the stomach. And we selected fundic and pyloric cap layered. Okay. Now select the gingiva. Gingiva is nothing but gums. Uh, gingiva is a pink colored keratinized mucosa that surrounds and protects the teeth. Here is the gingiva. This is the gingiva. Now select any part of the cecum. Uh, cecum is the pouch connected between the junction of the small intestine and large intestine. This is the cecum. This highlighted part is cecum. Its function is to absorb fluids. Now select any segment of the liver. There are 8 segments in the liver. 8 segments. Liver is the largest gland or solid organ in the body. At the same time, liver has anatomically 4 lobes. Uh, these are one of the segments of the liver. We can identify it. Now the question is, select the oral cavity, the entire cavity. Oral cavity refers to the mouth. It includes the lips, two thirds of the tongue and inside of the cheeks and lower and upper gums. Okay, and this is the oral cavity. And it also includes wisdom teeth also. Here the entire is oral cavity. Now select the rectum. This is the rectum. It is the last part of the large intestine. Its function is to hold the bowel until a person passes a movement. Okay, this is the rectum. Now select the gallbladder. Gallbladder is a pear shaped small organ on your right side of abdomen and just beneath your liver. This is the gallbladder. Now select a molar. Molar is a grinding tooth in mammals. There are three grinding molars. And this is the molar. There are four types of teeth in mammals. Incisor, canine, premolar, molar. This is the gingiva. This is the molar. 2 and 2, 3 by 2 and 2, 3 is the adult dental formula. Now select any one of the salivary glands. In our mouth or oral cavity, there are three pairs of salivary glands. Submaxillary salivary glands, sublingual salivary glands, parotid salivary glands. Here these are salivary glands. They help in production of saliva. Uh, behind the jaw, it is the parotid salivary gland. And this is the sublingual and this is the submandible. Submandibular salivary glands. We select any one of it. Now select any part of the large intestine. Okay, this is the large intestine. These are other parts of large intestine. Now select appendix. Appendix is a one of the vestigial organs of the human body. Appendix is a vermiform like projection, a narrow finger shaped projection from the colon. Uh, appendicitis is the common infection that affects the appendix. Now select the laryngopharynx. Laryngopharynx is also known as hypopharynx because it is the last portion of the pharynx. Here is the laryngopharynx behind the larynx. Okay, this is the larynx. Behind it laryngopharynx. It continues with esophagus. Now select any part of the small intestine. Small intestine has three parts. Duodenum, jejunum.
select any part of the pancreas pancreas is located in the abdomen behind the stomach and it is connected into the duodenum this is the pancreas it has also three parts okay pancreas plays a major role in production of insulin this is the head of the pancreas body and tail of the pancreas now identify the esophagus esophagus is a narrow muscular tube that carries food and it connects your throat to your stomach it is also known as food pipe this is the esophagus here is the esophagus